told you all that. Good. Well, yeah, it is super, super easy because you just copy it from your eye chart. Remember? So if you go back to your eye chart, we wrote our conclusion down here, right? So you're literally just going to take this conclusion that you wrote down here and put it on this page. Miss Chandler. Yes, Bella. I lost my writing notebook. That's not good. Michelle, I already finished it. Can you... Awesome. So, Bella, if you lost your writing notebook, then you're probably going to need to get another one so you can start over. Okay. All right, so before I start my subtopic number two, I'm actually going to go back to my conclusion and write my conclusion first since all I'm doing is copying. So I'm going to say, this is why. Or I'm going to say, um, flavors. Say, I'm going to do my thumb, dot, make an indention. I'm going to say popcorn has many different types of flavors. And then if I want to, I could even name the two flavors that I talked about, right? I could name movie theater butter and caramel corn. I could say many different types of flavors. Movie theater butter and caramel corn are just the beginning just to give it a little extra okay but so i literally took what i wrote from my eye chart i copied the first sentence and then i just added one more sentence so for my conclusion i took the bottom of my eye chart i wrote it right here and then i added one more sentence I took the bottom of my eye chart and I added one more sentence. What do you want us to do for the conclusion in the word bank? Um, in the word bank. So let's do, uh, let's try, I want to do some different ways we could start our conclusions. Um, so on this part, you, you will copy me. Um, cause I want you to have some different ways to start your conclusions. Okay. Hold on. So you could say in summary. Thus, to conclude, this is why in short. So those are just a few different ones you could use to kind of wrap up your conclusion. Those are how you could start your sentences if you want to. So like I could say, in summary, popcorn has many different types of flavors. Movie theater, butter, and caramel corn are just the beginning. I may even add that to it. I actually like the way that sounds. So I may even say, you know what? I'm going to actually add, in summary, comma, and then I'm going to add the rest of the sentence to the end of this. In summary, popcorn has. What did you write on the second word? What's the second word? Huh? What's the second word before to conclude? To conclude this one, thus. 
It means like this is it. Okay, and then when you're done with your conclusion, you're going to write your subtopic number two. So I'm basically going to take my subtopic number two, I'm going to go back to my eye chart, and I'm going to copy my word bank into here, and then I'm going to start writing sentences that are going to go with my karma corn topic. Okay, so I'm going to take what I wrote here, so sticky, coated, brownish, sticks in your teeth, sweet, delicious, and add them here. Grace, you have a question or are you stretching? Mm -hmm. Okay. I just want to make sure. So you should be working on your subtopic number two and your conclusion. You should be working on your subtopic number two and your conclusion. You should be working on your subtopic number two and I'm done. conclusion. Awesome. If you're done, try and add more to all four of your pages. See if you can add more sentences. If you're finished, see if there's more that you can add or start going through and editing like I did. Like I said, oh, you know what? I actually like the way this sounds in front of this. Do some sentence fixing. Don't forget to indent before you start writing. Make sure you're adding lots of details. Hey, Sean, do I have to do another one? Uh, no, Kaysen, go through your first one. Go through these first four pages that we just did and make sure you've added lots of details. Make sure you haven't just written like one or two sentences on each page. Okay. Make sure it has lots of details. 
you can write, write um, just one sentence, but uh, with like a lot of detail. No, because you that's a run on sentence then. You should have at least like two or three sent or I'm going to say you should have at least four or five sentences. Yes, Camila. Um, for when I was writing on page one, I had to use page two for some of it because it was so big. Awesome. Walter, more than likely, you could probably get a few sentences out of your one sentence that you're trying to write. You should be writing. You should be writing your subtopic number two and your conclusion. You should be writing your subtopic number two and your conclusion. You should be writing your subtopic number two and your conclusion. Yes, Katya. Back on my computer. Yeah, you're good, Katya. Notice in mine, I've added details about how it looks, how it tastes, how it feels. So if you're doing something that is something that's like physical that you can touch or see, then you can describe how it looks, how it feels, how it tastes, how it touched. I can't do that with mine because mine's playing in my imagination. I know. Well, Walter, you're gonna have to be creative with your details. You'll just have to be creative. You'll have to get a little more creative with yours. <laughs> 